Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hit that button, that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It's time for that culture for the streets, man. You know what it is already. It's the Mafia. We back. Man, what's up with WAC 100 and Hassan Campbell, man? They've been feuding with each other for a minute now. Months now. They finally got a chance to sit side by side, microphone, microphone, express what their disagreements is about, hash it out, whatever. Why do they not get to that point? It was almost like when they seen Hassan get a little bit passionate and aggressive about what he was talking about. If a nigga crossed him, they ain't want to tap into that, that space he was in right there. You see what I'm saying? If you really paid attention to WAC 100, he didn't have no fucked up energy towards Hassan on that episode with DJ Academics and Takashi 69. But immediately afterwards, you go to, to Clubhouse or wherever you go and you start talking about this man being so violent, acting and talking about what he would do to a nigga if they did this and did that. And well, why you ain't do that to African Bambada when he was fucking you? Like, of course he wasn't gonna say that dumbass shit on DJ Academics podcast. Why? Because at that moment, why that nigga right there passionate about what he's saying, aggressive about what he's saying, you tap into his life and the, the shit he had to go through in his real life like that, he would have took off on WAC 100. WAC 100 went on the West Coast at this moment. So it almost make it, it make both of them look bad because y'all been going at it for months. Two big ass old heads that act like drunk uncles at a barbecue arguing over the last shot of liquor. You see what I'm saying? That shit is retarded. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Both of y'all supposed to be OGs. Both of y'all done been through the shit, been to prison, came home, got a story to tell. Y'all could be pushing a different agenda. You know what I'm saying? But right now, y'all pushing controversy, chaos, and, and, and stupidity. You know what I'm saying? Niggas supposed to be way too motherfucking polished for that shit. Whack getting too much money. Hassan getting a whole bunch of money. You a top blogging nigga. Then you go as far as to dry snitch on Alpo, even though the nigga dead. I ain't got no rest in peace for that nigga. You took a whole section down. Listen, whatever. But still, the nigga dead, and then you just come out of nowhere and say, nigga got two bodies since he been free from federal custody. Like, what type of shit was that? It's almost like you was waiting to get that information out because nobody even asked you that shit. It's like both of them got shit going on. Whack go over here and then you discussing some shit. Hassan Lee could call on you about Big U and Nipsey, which I don't believe none of that shit because, listen, I don't be knowing half of the time what the fuck Whack 100 agenda be behind half of the shit he be saying, but it seemed like ever since Nip died, you had nothing but negative things to say about this man, and it's crazy. And the thing about this shit, whole shit with... Every time Nip name come up, you got something fucked up to say. I almost feel like you and Big U got something going on where y'all ain't getting along some kind of way. Y'all ain't seeing eye to eye or something. And the public just don't really realize this shit because you've been doing a lot of parking lot bitch type shit. Parking lot bitch type of shit. And what I mean by that shit, nigga, I thought you and Big U was like brothers. So why would you be calling? It's just the same thing as when you call Bone from the Jungle Recorded the call, send it back to Big U, then Big U tap in the jungle like, yeah, nigga, I heard the, come, like, come on, man, that's parking lot bitch shit right there. You see what I'm saying? You doing a whole lot of bullshit. You instigating, you starting shit, you calling niggas out, you ain't took no fades on the West Coast. Then you go to do sit downs with niggas you've been having problems with where them fades and where them where that aggression and where that i beat your ass type shit at where all that that the big tough whack 100 on clubhouse shit at when you sitting down face to face with the people that you got these issues with where was the aggression it's like crazy to me then they keep going back and forth when y'all could have hashed y'all shit out right there what's wrong with you niggas not hashing it out right there then y'all leave that and immediately get into exposing each other. That shit is corny to me. And for two niggas that got platforms to be doing some 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 positive shit, they doing a whole bunch of negative young nigga bullshit, right? We talking about these niggas is uncles in the game. These is not young niggas. These niggas is uncles in the game. Not young niggas. They uncles in the game. Acting stupid as fuck. 
Shit is embarrassing, bro. Watching this shit. It's entertainment, but it's still embarrassing, nigga. Because these supposed to be two street dudes acting like two old-ass girls. Then y'all making yourself look bad because y'all can sit down next to each other and don't have none of that energy for each other. It's almost like two niggas arguing over social media to see each other like, and both of them jump on some scary shit and don't say just eat. Don't even realize each other there type shit. That's almost like how this shit, the vibes from this shit is totally off, bro. Straight up. It's just too much going on with that whole shit. Like I said, you throwing nip under the bus. You putting big U in some shit. You, 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 you doing a lot of shit. Now, don't think for one minute... Him, that call being leaked ain't going to lead to some some type of shit on the West Coast behind that shit. You talking about a major figure when you get to mention in Big U, throwing Big U name and some shit. You talking about a nigga that's looked up to, an influencer, a gang-banging nigga, a leader in Nipsey. Past, he's been gone. You still talking crazy about this nigga, bro? You going to get all the karma... All the, the bullshit the game guy gonna hand you is gonna come in a big bucket. Cause you out here doing fuck shit, man. The niggas ain't respecting that shit. I don't give a fuck how big you is, where you from, nigga, what, nigga, none of that shit, nigga. You too grown for a lot of that shit, man. High sign too, man. It's, 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 it's stupid, man. And only person that was smart in this situation being a mediator was DJ Academics because he orchestrated all this whole shit to be a sit down. He got the numbers off of it. He going to get the bag from it. He getting, listen, he was perfect at orchestrating that whole situation because that's shit that people want to see. I get all of that. But them two niggas. Terrible, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. It's time for that. Culture for the streets.